Darnell, how does Darnell play different than Oscar? Uh, he's probably a little bit more aggressive um, in D zone. Um, I think that's he moves around a lot, um, which is a good thing. So it's uh, they're not that different, but I just think it's certain things in their game that's they're bringing. It's a little bit different, and I mean, for for Oscar, he has that shot. He got that skating ability, so he's uh, he's up on the rush and very positioning strong. So it's um, they're bringing a lot of different things to the table. So when, when Darnell plays against the, the number one, like tomorrow with him, that's an ed that's a learning thing for him too. I mean, Oscar got pretty used to that with you as a player. Uh, yeah. I mean, Darnell has been top three demon in this league now for I don't know how many years. So he uh, he's used to play against against that offensive force. And I mean, tomorrow it's it's a team that really brings an offensive game, and we're gonna do everything we can to put them them on their heels. And I think the old cliche is best offense is the best defense. So it's uh, that's what we're trying to bring tomorrow? Uh, probably not. Probably. <laughs> with with, with Easy. Oscar and, and Chris Russell both being out, is that not to take anything away of the guys who were in, but is that, what kind of stress is that putting on, on the blue line when you lose two of your top four guys? Well, it's never fun to see guys like that going down, um, but it also gives other guys opportunities to play more minutes to probably get chances they haven't, maybe haven't seen before. So it's... Um, the minutes are up for grabs, and I think that could be a good thing. It's a lot of players that can accelerate with that, and I think uh, on the back end we've had some guys that had some really good games when they're being gone. So it's um, we're doing everything we can to to fill those holes. Adam, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Ken Hitchcock talked about how the team is currently playing at 60% of its potential. I feel like these last two practices maybe kind of help that along with the communication over you guys' mid stretch games. Uh, yeah, I think we we timed this practice days pretty perfectly. I mean, we haven't really seen practice in a long time, um, and really work on the things he wants us to to be good at. So it's um, it's a really good thing to have these days, and um, obviously we aren't happy with the games we played lately, but I mean, it's um, we had one day now close it off before Christmas and we're going to do the best we can. But like you said, it's 60% is um, just means we got a lot of work on and that's what we'll do in practice and try to get that into the game. And Adam, I know I, I jumped in on the scrum late, but uh, you probably already addressed it. But uh, I'll be ready for tomorrow, yeah. Um, like I said, it was a perfect day to have two days off for, for my body and uh, tomorrow I'll be 100%.